sharks are pretty misunderstood. They are usually just curious and want to glance at what the human is doing. At other times, the human misreads their intent and things get out of hand. Well, Captain Drake will be taking you through six shark encounters today. Number six. Okay, so we begin this shark encounter video with an enormous tiger shark. Our surfer begins to surf. This huge shark comes to pay him company. Wow, look at that. Look how close he is. Look how close this big fellow is. At first, he is confused, thinking it is the same one he saw the day before alongside a turtle. But there is no way to confirm that. The shark swims a bit ahead, and he closely follows suit. All of a sudden, the shark is beneath his surfboard. Tiger and the turtle. Uh -oh. Oh. Oh my God. Look at those bite marks. That wouldn't have been good if it were on his body. Oh my God! That shark is, but I'm pretty sure it's gone. It's quickly. Oh, I'm shaking. This surfer is so pumped with adrenaline that he finds it difficult to control his breathing and see his way out of the water. At this point, the shark is long gone, but the encounter has got him in a bit of a twist for the time being. Number five. Sharks are apex predators. You do not have to be scared of them, but you do have to approach them from a distance. When you're on a boat, that's pretty easy to do. But when you're on a surfboard, well, things get a bit tricky. In this video, two kids surf around a huge white shark. They notice the shark quick enough, but what they do is shocking. They begin to chase the shark, and the shark tries to leave them, wanting nothing to do with them while showing no signs of aggression. The children chase the shark to shallow waters just before the shoreline. The shark tries to navigate back to the deep water, and the kids continue this back and forth with the shark till they leave it be. Thankfully, the shark didn't get aggressive. Number four. This fisherman goes out to have a field day with his fishing tools. Little does he know that he will catch something much bigger than his fishing line and rod could withstand, a bull shark. Guys, this is how you should handle a shark. Don't go skull dragging them by the tail or anything up into the... The hook connected to the fishing line traps the shark, and it remains in fear of diving back into the deep parts of the ocean with the hook stuck to its lower jaw. The hook pierces its skin, but the cut is not deep. Tiny little bit of wire. It's chilling. This fisherman makes the bull shark follow him to shallow waters just before the shoreline to set the animal free. He gets a hook remover from his female companion by the ocean's bank and removes the hook from the shark's mouth without much hassle. Here we go, she's out. Woo! Surprisingly, the injured shark isn't aggressive towards the fisherman and waits until he tells it it's okay to get back into the water fully before it moves. Number three. It's 2013 at Pompano Beach, and a couple of fishermen thought it was a great day to go kayaking. Well, this hammerhead shark thought otherwise. At the start of the video, we see the shark moving too close to the trio of kayakers. Then it begins to come closer to one of them, where he bites on the kayak. It circles his kayak in a seemingly playful method and pretends to leave them. Next, 
he moves to the second kayaker and repeats the stunt before moving on to the third. Eventually, it gets bored and swims away. I guess it just wanted to have a fun time with these fishermen. Number two. From absolutely nowhere, this tiger shark comes head on for two spear fishermen. This is how the video begins. No one knows what transpired before the head on attack. <laughs> They begin to repel the shark using their spearfishing equipment, but the shark remained persistent. It recoils as the head of the spear pierces through its skin, yet comes back time and time after. <coughs> the fishermen realize this could be a fight they might not win and begin to hurl themselves to the water's surface. Thankfully, their ride is just around the corner, and they hurl faster, taking a few seconds to scare the shark away before finally hopping to safety on their boat. Number one. Even diving in the ocean with a cage does not guarantee you will be safe from a shark encounter. At least these cage divers were not, they are in the water, surrounded by a cage, when the sea animal notices an external presence. It draws closer and sights them. In eagerness to feed, maybe, it begins to bite on the iron rods with which the cage was made. It swims around, trying to find the right spot to get in, but eventually it is futile. The great white shark realizes that further persistence is futile and could draw the attention of other shark hunters, so it decides to leave. The cage divers, pumped with adrenaline through the encounter, begin to shout and whistle for the sheer pleasure of surviving this shark encounter. Oi! Thanks for sticking around till this point of the video. The captain posts videos like this weekly. You can support him by subscribing to this channel and scanning previous releases.